Hi Divinians! Welcome to the new normal. This is Teacher Christian from the Senior High School Department and hope you are all having a great day or night depending on the time you are watching this video. We know that there is a pandemic going on but it is not an excuse to leave our children's educations behind. All of us here in Divina Pasora College are praying and looking forward to bring Christ-centeredness, excellence, integrity, and service to our students as we always say in our mantra, para sa bata. Obviously, this is our first meeting and I want to welcome you to my subject, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. Let us imagine ourselves going through an adventure and a journey of exploration. In this journey, we will encounter different artworks of our national artists and practices as well as art forms here in the Philippines. Let us create an outstanding, exceptional, and incomparable artworks. I know all of you are now ready to learn, but before that, let us have a short prayer. Let us remember Jesus Christ in our hearts and our midst as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, bless us today. Help us grow in love and kindness, and be like Jesus every day. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Good Shepherd, pray for us. Jesus, you are my Lord. My happiness lies in you alone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Before we jump to our in-depth discussion, let us first define what contemporary art is. Contemporary art is composed of two words, contemporary and art. The term art came from a Latin word, ars, meaning art, skill, and craft. They say art is all about creation. It is about creating something new, something original, or something different. They also say that art is about giving life, or art is the life itself. On the other hand, the word contemporary means modern, current, present, or existing. In short, contemporary art is the art of today produced by artists who are living in the 21st century. Contemporary art provides an opportunity to reflect on contemporary society and the issues relevant to ourselves and the world around us. Contemporary artists work in a globally influenced, culturally diverse, and technologically advancing world. Like for example, Catriona's national costume when she competed for Miss Universe 2018 is made up and inspired by the 16th century tattooed warriors of Visayas. Aside from the giant lantern of Luzon and the various native textile and accessories of Mindanao. Another is Miss Heart Evangelista's paintings and pop star royalty Miss Sara Geronimo for her songs and choreography. However, let us not get confused between modern art and contemporary art because there's a little bit difference between these two. Modern art came before contemporary art. Most historians and critics put the beginning of modern art in the West at around 1860s continuing up to the 1970s. Whereas, contemporary art means made in the 21st century to the present day. Now, if you are ready for our lesson, welcome to the immense world of arts. For the objectives, you are going to identify various contemporary art forms, techniques, and performance practices through research. Value the importance of contemporary art forms from the various regions. And last, create an artwork using contemporary techniques and performance practices. Before that, 
On your self-turning packets, I ask you to do a research about different contemporary art forms. And let us see if our answers are the same. So for different contemporary art forms, we have music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film and broadcast arts, architecture, design, and allied arts. So first, let us define what is music. Music is an art form and cultural activity whose medium is sound. Like for example, the Philippine Madrigal Singers. Next is dance. Dance is a performing art from consisting of purposefully selected sequences of human movement. Like for example, a group of ballet dancers here in the Philippines. Next is theater. Theater is a collaborative form of performing art that uses live performers, typically actors or actresses, to present the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place, often a stage. Like for example, Ang Huling El Bimbo, the musical. Next is visual arts. The visual arts are art forms such as painting, drawing, printmaking, sculpture, ceramics, photography, video, filmmaking, design and crafts, and architecture. Many artistic disciplines such as performing arts, conceptual art, and textile art also involve aspects of visual arts as well as arts of other types. Next is literature. Literature broadly refers to any collection of written or oral work, but it more commonly and narrowly refers to writings specifically considered to be an art form, specifically or especially prose, fiction, drama, and poetry. Now, are you aware that Hugot lines and pick-up lines are now considered as part of literature. For example, Are you a camera? Why? Because every time I look at you, I smile. And thus, we have architecture, design, and allied arts. For architecture, architecture is a bought process and the product of planning, designing and constructing buildings and other physical structures. Like for example, the Three Kings Paris Church here at Japan City. For design, design is the creation of plan or convention for the constructions of an object, system, or measurable human interaction. Like for example, the interior design inside the Three Kings Parish. And last, for allied arts in architecture, it is the decorative arts as applied to buildings. For example, a painting that you can find at the Bovida or Dome inside the Turkings Parish Church. After knowing different art forms and their definitions, let us now proceed to Philippine art techniques and performance practices according to Gawad sa Manilikhang Bayan or Gamaba. For Philippine art techniques and performance practices, we have folk architecture, maritime transport, weaving, carving, performance art, literature, graphics, and plastic arts, textile and fiber art, ornament, and pottery. For folk architecture, folk architecture is the living environment people have created for themselves. We can define local architecture as an architecture form in the process of anonymous design which later becomes traditional under the influence of various factors like for example a bahay kubo and some ancestral houses here at Gapan City Next is maritime transport Maritime transport and contemporary also flourished there were people practiced boat making made of boat houses like for example a traditional boat house to contemporary boat house. Next is weaving. 
Weaving is a method of textile production in which two distinct sets of yarns or threads are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth. Like for example, a tinalak cloth and an inabal cloth. Next is carving. Carving is the act of using tools to shape something from a material by scraping away portions of that material. The technique can be applied to any material that is solid enough to hold the form even when pieces have been removed from it, and yet soft enough for portion to be scraped away with available tools. Like for example, a carabao sculpture and a relief sculpture. Next is performance art. Performance art is an art in which the medium is the artist's own body and the artwork takes the form of actions performed by the artist. Like for example, sayaw sa banga at sayaw sa bangko. Next is literature. Literature broadly refers to any collection of written or oral work like for example, is No Limit Namire and Florante at Laura. Next is Graphics and Plastic Arts. Graphic arts have two-dimensional flat surface such as painting, calligraphy, typography, drawing, photography, computer graphics, and bindery. While plastic arts is a three-dimensional art form that involves physical manipulation of a plastic medium by molding or modeling such as sculpture or ceramics. Like for example, a graphic art of the game, Mobile Legends, and a plastic art made up of clothes pin. Next is textile and fiber art. Fiber art refers to fine art whose material consists of natural or synthetic fiber and other components such as fabric or yarn. It focuses on the materials and on the manual labor on the part of the artist as part of the work's significance and prioritizes aesthetic value over utility. Like for example, Next is ornament. In architecture and decorative art, ornament is a decoration used to embellish parts of a building or object. Like for example, In other term, Ornament is a thing used to make something look more attractive but usually having no practical purpose, especially a small object such as figurine. And last, we have pottery. Pottery is the process and the products of forming vessels and other objects with clay and other ceramic materials, which are fired at a high temperature to give them a hard and durable form. Major types include earthware, stoneware, and porcelain. The place where such wares are made by a potter is also called pottery. Like for example, This is just an introduction to our subject to familiarize you with the different contemporary art forms and practices here in the Philippines. But as we go further to our lesson, you will be amazed how the arts and tradition of every Filipino contribute for today's great culture. Now, don't just sit there and join me to an exploration as we go to different art forms and techniques from the various regions. 